shoe program. Well, the Yeezy brand has a fundamental impact on our overall brand position, but it's still in the bigger context of us being a $25 billion company, you know, a small part of our company. There were probably a million, maybe a million and a half Yeezy sold last year in pairs in the United States and throughout the world. Uh, Adidas made 400 million pairs of shoes last year. A million pairs of Yeezy is, is really a drop in the ocean. There's a reason why there are the numbers of shoes are made by Adidas for Yeezy. It's not because there's no factory space to build the shoes. They simply are creating this artificial sense of scarcity. When you think about it in that light, it, it really tells you that the product can't be a, a larger story. It, it, it has to be limited in what it brings. In other words, demand for Yeezys just isn't strong enough to produce the shoe in much larger quantities. Nike and Adidas have never revealed how many Yeezys they release per drop. The Jordan business grew about 10% a year because that's all that Nike allowed to go into the market was about 10% more. They could have been put in 20 or 30 or 50% more and probably sold them in the first year, but it would have been gone after that. But Powell says Nike made a mistake when it flooded the market with too many Jordans in 2017 and 2018. And the brand has lost its cachet. Now, can they build it back? Yes, but it will take years.